down okay. there. What you want to show them is that, you see how that cut piece, if you sew that all back together, just like that, mm -hmm. and then you sew this muscle back to there, you'd create a chamber, mm -hmm. right? And the chamber can only go out through the aorta, you see? And then you have the valve there. Blood comes into this ventricle through the, what's left of the atrium, and this is the ring of the mitral valve right here. Okay. The other side of that ring is over here. Okay. And so if you sewed that together, see this little line here and this mm -hmm. line? Mm -hmm. If you sewed that together, and then you had a circle and you sewed the other edge together, you could see that that's a little valve like this. It's just like lips coming mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. right? So when, when blood comes behind it and pushes on it, this flap goes up, and, it, and in fact, it'll all close. That, that'll close that whole aperture. It's beautifully designed to do that. But it's a little hard to see, but, but you know, that, that's what you can explain. And you've got to tell them that this big chamber, this big, thick thing, is what allows you to pump blood to the whole, to the whole body, right? Okay, so then you go to the other side of the heart, and you say, okay, well, how does blood get into the heart? Well, let's go over here. And what you see is you've got this great big chamber over here, right? That's your, that's your right atrium. Okay. And it goes, blood goes in through a valve, and your valve is right here. You can see all the chordae tendinae on mm -hmm, the valve. Mm -hmm. Okay, It goes in through that valve into this little thin wall chamber that's been kind of ripped up a little bit. This is probably part of the, part of the wall that got torn away. Okay. But you have this thin wall chamber. Look how thin walled that chamber is. Remember, if this came together, you'd, have, you'd be left with that little tiny chamber, okay. this thin wall. That's your right ventricle. Okay. If you look up above that junk, that's the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle. That's what closes during systole so that blood doesn't go back out into the vena cava. Okay? But once that's closed and blood's in a pressurized chamber, there's only one place it can go, right? And that one place that it can go is up is right up here. You see this? That's where it goes out. Okay. And that's your pulmonary artery. Does this one look bigger than the aorta? Um It does a little bit, but remember that the um, it doesn't have to be smaller. It can be it can be bigger than the than the aorta. Okay. The aorta doesn't have to be. Remember the aorta is a, it's a because it's so thick. Tough little tube, you know. You know, I mean, it's it. it, it